reason many people are not answered is because they focus on themselves before they focus on the kingdom of God. So in prayer, you must prioritize God. Then after you have prioritized God, you then pray about yourself. So when you are starting to pray, pray about the needs of God. Pray about the needs of the church. Blessed be the name of the Lord. What a marvelous time. What a marvelous hour. Family, may the Lord make his face shine upon your life. I believe that as we are praying in this week, the Father in heaven, the God of spirits, is doing something marvelous and is doing something great in your lives. I want you to know that the God who has begun a good work in you is faithful, that he will bring it unto completion. You should never be scared. You should never be afraid. Remember the Holy One of Israel is alive. He is living and he is reigning forever. So right now as we begin our prayers, I want you to understand, family, that the Bible is clear that the fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. As long as you understand that as a righteous man and a woman, your fervent prayer avails. As long as you pray with all of your heart, nothing is impossible with God. All things are possible with him. So you're going to see the anointing of God working. You're going to see the power of God working. By the end of this week of Thanksgiving, as we conclude the week of Thanksgiving, the light of the Lord, the light of the Lord Jesus the Christ is going to flow over your lives. And you're going to see the power of God, the anointing of God working in a special way in a way that you have never seen before. The Bible is clear that the Lord God Almighty, the protector of Israel, he is neither slumber, he does not either sleep, he's He does not slumber and he does not sleep. He is always awake to make sure that his people and his children are protected. I believe that the Father in heaven, the God of all the heavens, is alive and he is willing tonight and to make something, to do something. And God, the God of heavens, is about to do great things. So right now, I want you right now to begin to pray with me and begin to tell the Lord and say, Lord, today I decree and I declare in this third day, I decree and I declare that my life is changing. My destiny is changing as I declare a thanksgiving, as I declare a thanksgiving to you, God. Begin to pray right now. Zaka Sanda Kaziya, Zelebe Sanda La Babashaya, Zibahanda La Babashekadi, Lebra Hasaka Bahanda Le Bubushia, Zibahanda La Brahanda La Babashika. Zipa handa la bra agaderi wisanda lebre e gazal gadas kubanda liangru lebre e zala boshianda la bri agazala boshia lebre e gazala boshianda ria gabandi lepa anda kadia gazobla handi lebre e gazala boshianda la bra agadi lebre agazala boshianda ria gazobri lebra asunda la makadia makudia lebra agazala boshianda rikanda lebre e gazala mozik Kapahandi, kenderi bahando rukuza, lepra azo kapandi likuya, lepre e gazala boshiandi, lepra azo kapandi akadi, lepra azo kapahandi ri aga, hakanderi boshiandi, mangandi akazubri agadi. Lepre e kazala boshiandi, lepre e zolo boshianda la bosheka, lepre a zala boshiandi di handa, lepre a kazala boshieka, lepre e kazola brokonda la kadi, lepre e kazala mozik rahandi, lepre a zala boshiendi di kanda, makadi di besaya, lepre e kazala ya moshindi, lepre e kazala mozaka panda, lepre a kapali ya kateka tia katapaka, lepre e kazoka Pakatia, Lebra Akatele Besaka Pandi, Lepre Ekasala Musica, Lebra Antala Kosianda Kadia, 
Lepri e katala muzika bahanda, re katala muzika bahandi, lepri e katola musakadi, re katala muzika bandi, haraka banda lakudi, lepra akapali akadi, lepri e katola muzika, lepri e katala muzika, lepa antere kadora, lepri e katola muzika di amahoya. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we give you all the glory. Lord Jesus, we give you the praise. Praise and glory be to you, Adonai. Praise and glory be to the Father of Spirits, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He that is living forever, we want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah Jireh. Thank you, Jehovah Nisi. Thank you, Rebecca Adonai. Thank you, Lily of the Valleys. We bless your holy name. We bless your mighty name. We declare that your name is above all names. You are worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all adoration. You deserve all glory in heaven, in the earth, and under the earth. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. For he satisfieth my mouth with good things. He forgives all my iniquities. He heals all my diseases. He renews my youth like of the eagle. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will declare that the Lord is great. The Lord is amazing. The Lord is wonderful. Father, we declare that you are powerful. You are glorious. You are amazing, God. 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 Kela bashanda la babushaya. As we declare our thanksgiving to you, as we declare our thanksgiving to you, let all the heavens declare that your name is great, your name is mighty, and worthy of all praise. I will bless the name of the Lord. I will declare, holy is the one of Israel, the one who liveth forever. Kanto komri haskida, akros kinda makrukidila boshanda. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory, 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 Ebenezer. Glory, 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 Al Shaddai. We pray to you to glorify your name, to glorify your mighty name, to glorify the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a righteous tower. The righteous run and they are safe. You are the hiding place of the righteous. You are the holy place of the righteous. Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Nisi, the one who breaks forth and the one who watches over. We declare in the year of 2021, in the year of 2021, you have been faithful. You have been faithful. You have been wonderful. You have been glorious in our lives. That's why we take, we take this week to say thank you, to say Ebenezer, to say God, this is how far you have been so good. This is how far you have been glorious. Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Nisi, we declare your name. We declare your holy name. Kokala Babahaya. With your people, 
all over the world as we connect in this week of thanksgiving we know that thanksgiving opens a room for more thanksgiving opens a room for more father you answer prayer god you are the god that answer prayer okay rako lete kapa pela asumanda zubele bahaya hakomendele hasku retela kulama kuba akadeka bless your name god we bless your name father we bless your name adonai kan kan karakata kere katokata makadeka kichokoto makataya sele bahunda thank you lord thank you lord jesus thank you this week we declare thank you we declare thank you our thanksgiving belongs to you family as we declare our thanksgiving to the lord his ear is not to deaf that he cannot save neither his arm to show that he cannot save I believe that what stops God from hearing us it is surely our sins the word of God says Does his arm is not to show that he cannot save but your sin has hidden your face from God I believe the Bible say come to him with all your sins Though they are scarlet he will surely white them to be whiter than snow God is ready to wash our sin as long as we repent David says in the book of Psalms number 51 Create in me a clean heart O God renew a steadfast spirit within me cast me not away from your presence but restore the joy of salvation unto me say for i will surely testify in a large congregation and teach sinners your ways it will be a mistake to continue in this week of divine of thanksgiving without repenting over the course of the year There were many instances where we fall short of the glory of God. There were many instances where we fell short and we didn't live up to the standard that God had set for us. As the word of God says, surely all of them have fall short of the glory of God. I believe that in all that Jesus came to qualify us through his blood that as we receive his forgiveness of our sin we are counted as those who are now in right standing with God right now i want you to pray and i want you to begin to ask God for the forgiveness of your sins this year one way or another you didn't do right before God it is very important to clean our hearts before the father in heaven because sin prevents him from hearing our prayers and answering us so right now in this third day i want you to begin to repent for everything on the course of this year that you might have done that is not pleasing to the lord begin to pray right now father lord of lords king of kings forgiver of sin the one who mediates 
between men and God, your son Jesus, that you have sent. For there is surely no any other blood that is able to wash and purify sin. For the bloods of animals and goats couldn't achieve the remission of sins. But the true atonement came with Christ. And through his blood we have been sanctified and made holy. Father, in your righteous name, we come and pour our hearts before you repenting of every sin in our lives that is not pleasing to you for you god despises sin for you are god of righteousness we repent for all that we have done intentionally and unintentionally this year father we declare this year as we give thanks to you that we will not allow any sin to enter 2022 with us we will not allow any blemish of sin to be part of our new year. As we declare thanksgiving to you, God, we know your blood is able to sanctify, to wash and purify. Purify us, wash us, cleanse us with your blood. Cleanse us with your blood and we will be cleansed. Wash us with the blood of the Lamb. Likando ze kabahando kabahaya. Ze bahando kroko bahali ya bahunda la babashi. Thou God sanctify our hearts. Clean us from all that is immoral before you. The sin of our eyes, the sin of our minds, the pride of life, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eye. God, we declare right now that we are cleansed, purified, washed by the blood of Jesus. Pour the rain. Pour the rain, pour the rain, pour the rain of your spirit, pour the rain, open up the floodgates of heaven and pour the rain, let it rain over us Lord, let it rain over our lives. Kushala makode hasoma kabaha hasumele behaku ros kabahande diaku. Begin to pray to God right now wherever you are. Let Him know that He is your sanctifier. Let Him know that He is the one that washes your sin. Go to him in repentance. Repent of every sin. Repent of every blemish. Tell God that 2022, it's a new slate for you. You are starting afresh. You are starting with power. You are starting with all kind of humility. Begin to pray. Repent for the sin of your nation repent for the sin of your country whatever your country might have done to offend god to make god turn away from your nation to make god forsake your people whatever sin that is in your nation right now i declare the bible say if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. I, the Lord, will hear them from heaven and I will heal their land. It doesn't matter how huge your sin is as a nation. As long as God's people who are called by his name 
shall humble themselves. Pray to the Lord. Turn away from their wicked ways. The God in heaven, the Father of spirits, have said it, that I will hear from heaven and I will heal the land. You can ask God to heal your land. You can ask God right now to heal your country. Begin to pray right now. Pray. Pray. Ask God. Ask God to heal your nation. Ask God to heal South Africa. Ask God. Ask God to heal China. Ask God to heal America. Ask God to heal uh, every nation. Right now, begin to ask God. Whatever nation you are, you are watching from, ask God to heal. Kalabashika. I can see the healing of nations. Lakamakode. Reka bahata kada. Lebre eko saka bahandi. Leba akabali abashonde. Lebe bebe shaka bahandi. Roka baku dala bosheka. Lebe bebe shandala bosheka. Lebe bebe shaka bahandi. Reka baka takata. Lebra akabali akate. Reka taka baka dola. Lebra akabele besaka bahaya. Reka dala bosheka baho. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hangara kabahonde de handus. Zelebe sandala kabahandis. Le kabahande re kata kalahandus. Libra agazala boshe kabahande. Re kabahande de kata kata. Libra agosala moshe kadi. Libra agapal kateka. Zeka makodi akata. Lebra azoka makodi akasakatala. Lord, I thank you. The healing of South Africa is taking place. The healing of Zimbabwe. The healing of Ghana. The healing of Nigeria. The healing of Madagascar. The healing of Botswana. The healing of Tanzania, the healing of Kenya, the healing of Burundi, the healing of Somalia, the healing of Pakistan, the healing of Britain, the healing of the United States, the healing of China, the healing of Israel, the healing of Palestine, the healing of all the nations of the earth, the healing of Saudi Arabia, the healing of Bahrain, the healing of all the nations of the earth. For the Lord Jesus, Hakam Roskida, Krokabaka, Kroskida Akloteka, Reka Rosala Bahaya, we declare healing is taking place. The nations of the earth are healed. The nations of the earth are healed. The Lord God Almighty, the Father of Spirits, is healing. The nations of the earth, their lives are being changed. The world will never be the same again. The world will never be the same again. Hakonda Akrozeblahandru, Zebahanda Labra Agapalia. Thank you, Holy One. Thank you, Jehovah Nis. As we declare the healings of the nations, I know that God is healing your families. I know that God is healing your children. God is healing your lives. He said, none of these diseases that came upon Egypt shall befall you as long as you walk in my path. Righteousness exalts a nation and sin is a reproach to a people. I believe that right now as we pray, the righteousness of Jesus is endowed over the people over the nations of the earth. I want you to pray right now and ask God to endow you with his righteousness. 
begin to ask him say lord your righteousness endorse me begin to ask the lord god almighty the father of spirits for his righteousness to come over your life i believe that the righteousness of god is powerful begin to pray to him right now ask him for his righteousness la kamahanda la krikada liba hakabari yakadiri bisaka lebra anda le yakozedi yabosaka bahaya mekeda lebre ekosida lebra akbal kadele moziandi lebra akadia leba akadele bisaya lapa andele kandele bahai leba agabali akadi lebre ekasala leba agabri agadedi lebre ekadala moseka di akadi lebra akadia moseka leba akateda lebre ekosida lebre ekatala moseka the righteousness the righteousness the righteousness the righteousness of god the righteousness of god the righteousness of jesus is beginning to endow you you are endowed with the righteousness of jesus right now your light is shining the glory of god is shining over you the bible says you are the light of the world you are a city that is upon a hill you can't be hidden you can't be hidden you cannot be hidden i can see you shining in the glory of god i can see you shining in the glory of the father you are shining in his presence you are shining in the beauty of his holiness i see your light shining the glory of the father is upon you i can see you changing right now kanda rakazaya zele bebe saya zele be kundala bahai glory to god glory to god family i believe the light of el shaddai the light of elohim jacob salamahun da katan is working right now the power of the most high god is working right now as we give thanks to jesus in this week by humbling ourselves in fasting and in prayer remember this is our third day and our last day of the fasting but we continue to pray i want you to know that something is happening something is taking place in the atmosphere and your lives can never be the same the glory of god is shining the power of his presence is moving so wherever you are right now the spirit of the lord is changing your lives and your destinies as you say abenaza this is how far the lord has been good to us so family right now i want you using the details that are on the screen as we said that there are no instructions in how we are going to sow our seeds this week but as far as we know is that everywhere a soil and a garden is cultivated a seed ought to be sowed the bible say for the lord is not to be mocked whatever a man soweth so shall he reap so i believe that it is an error to pray to fast and not sow it is like working on a garden and after working on such kind of a great garden and not sow your seed in that garden so right now we have opened our lines of sowing from today as we said it is only today that you are allowed to sow your seed so looking at the details in the screen you can now start sowing your seed to the lord as the lord is leaving leading you as we said there are no specifics there is no it instruction that is prophetic for you to sow all the sowing has to come from the heart because god wants a cheerful 
giver. So I believe that when it comes to thanksgiving, there are no prophetic instructions of giving. It is only that which the heart is leading. You are grateful to God for keeping you this year. You are grateful to God for what he has begun. I believe that as you sow your seed of gratitude, sowing your seed to the Lord means the Lord as you pray together with us. So I want you right now to use the details and start sowing your seed with the details that are being shown to you right now. 2022 is going to be a year where heaven will respond to the affairs of the earth in a way that is unique, in a way that has never been seen before in the history of mankind. I want you to be prepared because as we give thanks this week, before the year ends, we're preparing ourselves to enter the next year, not just by chance, but by intention, understanding that we have prepared our way and that God is already ahead of us. So right now, looking at the screen, as you saw, I believe that God is moving all over the nations of the earth. Something is taking place. So family, right now you are allowed to sow your seed until the 31st, until the night of the 31st, as we enter into the new year. I want to say to you, we are grateful as Jesus Reigns TV for what you have done this year in support of our ministry. Some of, some of you have been partnering with us from the beginning. You have been partnering faithfully. And sometimes it is difficult to partner when seemingly you don't know if we recognize your partnership or not. But because you know that you are not partnering with a man, but you are partnering with divinity, even in times where we can't reach out to you and tell you that we are grateful, you always know that we are grateful and heaven is grateful. So thank you for partnering with us and thank you for making sure that the gospel is being spread all over the world. This ministry of the gospel is a very important ministry. The Bible is clear that the only sign of the second coming is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ being preached in all the nations of the earth. Then the end will come. So the gospel of this kingdom has to go and you are people that God has selected to become runners with, for the gospel. And I want you to know that you are highly appreciated. So right now, before we say goodbye for the night and see you on the Zoom sessions, I want you to know that God wants you to be financially well. The year of 2022, you can't continue operating in the same financial level. I believe that financial prosperity is important for a believer because Christianity without dominating the mammon of this world becomes ineffective especially when it comes to the advancement of the cost of the gospel. So right now I want to pray for you that God begin to come through in your finances. As you give thanks to God as I said thanksgiving opens up a room for more. So God has to come through for you right now. So begin to lift up your hands right now towards me. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory and all the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare for all the people that are connecting tonight. I declare right now by the blood of Jesus. Give them the insights the ability and the strength to descend and to see the, the treasures that are hidden in Christ. 
Father, you said I will give you the treasures of darkness and the riches in secret places that we may know that you are God. Father, right now I pray that you show them the riches and the treasures that are bestowed within this earth. And you said if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the fruit of the land. Let them eat the fruit of the land. Let them see the fruit of the land. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Right now receive your financial breakthroughs. Receive your prosperity in the name of Jesus. Ebenezer, Thanksgiving opens up a room for more. Let the Lord open up a room for more. In your life, in your family, a room for more is being opened. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for giving them that which is due to them. For Jesus died in the cross. He became poor, that we be rich. And through him, we have all things. Thank you, Jesus. Now, family, as we have just prayed, I believe it's only by the beginning. Indeed, God is about to show us the greatest of all. So continue to have faith, continue to believe and to love God because I believe that it's all just the beginning of great things. So may the Lord bless you. Thank you for watching Jesus Reigns TV. My name is Yamkela Joseph. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon your life. Till I see you next time. Shalom. That God has sent me on an assignment and God has sent me for a specific prophetic visitation that I may go to pray and intercede from Robben Island in South Africa. Thank you for watching Jesus Reigns TV. I believe that you are blessed by the testimonies, the prophecies, the teachings that you keep receiving into this channel. Family, I believe that God is doing great things all over the world and your life is also being transformed and Jesus is reigning over your life. The prophecies keep coming to pass each and every hour. Testimonies are coming and many people's lives are being transformed by the messages that are being taken out of this channel. I believe that God is only just beginning and the best is yet to come. I want to encourage you never, never to forget to become a partner with Jesus Reigns TV by making sure that you become part of the partner's role using the details that are on the screen right now. You can send the email and request to become a partner of Jesus Reigns TV and you will receive an email which will give you the partnership form. I believe that God wants us to be partners into taking the gospel all over the world. I say each and every one of us us is a product of somebody else's partnership of somebody's offering for us to receive the gospel so you can also save another soul by partnering with the gospel so that the gospel can go all over the world now I want to give you this opportunity as you have heard me preaching the word of God you say man of God I've heard you prophesying I've heard you uh, teaching the word of God and I see the testimonies as well and what God is doing but the problem is that me myself I don't know Jesus I don't have a relationship with Jesus and I've never met Jesus Christ so I want to lead you into this prayer of salvation and I believe that the Bible say we believe in our hearts confess with our mouths and we are saved 
And as you make this prayer, God is going to change your life and God is going to transform you. So just make this prayer after me. So Lord Jesus, today I believe that you are the Son of God. You rose and you died and rose again. And I believe that in your word, I am saved. I believe that you are the King over my life and the Lord of my life. In Jesus name as you made this prayer I believe that Jesus has entered your heart symbol the Bible say believing in our hearts confessing with our mouth that Jesus is the Lord and we are saved so right now you are saved and I want you to continue living according to the Word of God the Bible said the Word of God is a show word of prophecy so as you receive the Word of God your life is gonna be changed so thank you for watching my name is Yamkela Joseph I believe the next time I see you, it will be in your own city, in your own town. God bless you. I love you so much. Shalom. Shalom.